Alrighty, so if I can work out the mass of gas, I can compare it to that 1.5 kilograms. Now there seems to be no mass in the ideal gas equation, but no, no, it's hidden in the term n. n is the number of moles, and that is mass over molar mass. So by substituting that in, I get mass times the gas constant times temperature divided by molar mass. And rearrange, okay, I can work out the mass of gas that we actually have. Putting in the numbers, well, there's no trick for pressure, that's in kilopascals. Volume in decimeters cubed, that's good as well. Molar mass, well, let me add up the 12 and the 16 from the periodic table. That gives me 28 grams per mole. Gas constant, no problem. And the temperature has got to be in Kelvin. So once I work all that out, I get, I get a mass of 1,052 grams. Okay, it seems like he has enough to transport the monster. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm hurting, Gordon. Ow! Ow! 